In this video, we will do some College Board multiple choice questions pertaining to sinusoidal transformations. Those are transformations of sine functions or cosine functions. This is AP Pre-Calculus Topic 3.6. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Number 1. In the tidal area of a certain city, a sinusoidal function f of x equals a sine b times x plus c plus d, where a, b, c, and d are constants, is used to model one cycle of high and low tides. The maximum value of the tide is 8.88 feet, and the minimum value of the tide is 0 0.54 feet in that cycle. If the values of B, C, and D have already been fit to the data, which of the following would best define F of X? This is a long way of saying the maximum value is 8.88, the minimum value is 0 0.54, what is the value of A? The A value matches the amplitude of the function, except that the amplitude is always positive, while the A value is sometimes negative. In this case, all A values are positive, so we can rest assured that the A value will simply equal the amplitude. We often say that the amplitude is the maximum value minus the middle value, but we aren't given the middle value. So we can also find the amplitude by taking half of the maximum value minus the minimum value. So in this case, the amplitude, which is also equal to the A value, will equal one half of 8.88 minus 0 0.54. 8.88 minus 0 0.54 is 8.34, and half of that is 4.17. That's why the answer is A. Number two, which of the following is the graph of f of x equals 3 sine 2x in the xy plane? The fact that the a value is 3 tells us that the amplitude is 3. That's the distance between the maximum value and the midline. Option A does have an amplitude of 3, but option B only has an amplitude of 2. So, option B is out. Option C also merely has an amplitude of 2. So the answer can't be C. Option D does have an amplitude of 3. So we've narrowed it down to either options A or D. Next we notice that the B value is 2. And we know that the period is equal to 2 pi divided by that B value. So in this case the period will equal 2 pi divided by 2. The 2's cancel out and we are left with a period of pi. We are looking at half the period in option A uh, because a full period of a sinusoidal function is going to go like that. Half the period is already 2 pi. So the full period for option A would be 4 pi. So option A is not the answer. Option D is the answer because we see that one full cycle is completed right here at pi. Number three, the function f is given by f of x equals sine x, ooh, the parent function. In the xy plane, the graph of g is the image of the graph of f after a translation of pi over six units to the left. Which of the following could define g of x? A translation of pi over 6 units to the left means a phase shift of negative pi over 6. I want you to memorize that given a sine function in this form, the phase shift is always the opposite of this c value. So in this case, the phase shift is negative pi over 6. Therefore, the c value will be the opposite of this, or positive pi over 6. So we are expecting to see a positive pi over 6 right in this spot. Uh, that's what we see for option B. Obviously, uh, with the 
minus pi over 6, the negative pi over 6, options C and D are right out. But um, what's wrong with option A? Option A is missing the parentheses that option B has. Without the parentheses, this really means the sine of x, and then the plus pi over 6 is being added on the end. In the option A, the pi over 6 is really the D value and not the C value. So the answer is B. Number four, the table gives the maximum temperature in degrees Celsius on the first day of each of nine months in a certain city. The function f, given by f of theta equals this, where a, b, c, and d are constants, is used to model these data with theta representing the number of the month. Assume that the period of f is 12 months. Based on the data in the table, which of the following is the best value for d? The d value of a sinusoidal function corresponds to the midline, or the middle value of the function. So we can find the value of d by taking the average of the max and min. In other words, the d value will equal the maximum value plus the minimum value divided by two. In this case, the maximum value is about 32 degrees Celsius, and the minimum value is about negative six. So the value of D should be given by 32 plus negative six divided by two. 32 minus six is 26. So D is equal to 26 divided by two, which equals 13. So the answer is B. Number five. The table gives ordered pairs for five points from a larger data set. The larger data set can be modeled by a sinusoidal function f with a period of four. The maximum values of that data set occur at x values that are multiples of four. Which of the following best defines f of x for the larger data set? We are given that the period is four we can use the period to find the value of b in this model. The b value is always going to equal two pi divided by the period, so two pi over four. This reduces to pi over two. So we have narrowed it down to options a and c, both of which have a b value of pi over two. We can eliminate b and d. We are told that the maximum values occur at x values that are multiples of four, like zero and four. So the maximum value is five. On a sinusoidal function, the minimum value will occur halfway between the two maximum values. So in this case, the minimum value will be right here in the middle, and the minimum value is three. Since options A and C both have a positive a value, the a value will simply equal the amplitude. And the amplitude is the maximum value minus the middle value. However, we don't have the middle value, so we can find the amplitude by taking half of the maximum value minus the minimum value. So in this case, the a value, which equals the amplitude, will equal one half of the maximum value of five minus the minimum value of three. Of course, five minus three is two. So we've got one half of two, which equals one. Option A has an A value of one. So the answer is A. Number six, a portion of the graph of a sinusoidal function f in the xy plane is given on the interval from zero to two pi. Which of the following could define f of x? First of all, don't be confused when they add numbers onto the front like this. This is the same as adding those same numbers on the end. These numbers are the d values. And the d value is the midline the average of the max and min. In other words, the D value is equal to the maximum value plus the minimum value divided by two. 
In this case, d will equal seven plus negative one divided by two. So d will equal six over two, which equals three. So we've narrowed it down to options A or B, which have the correct value of D. A phase shift, or a horizontal translation, shows up as the opposite of a C value in this position. Neither of these functions have a C value, and, or you could say that both of these functions have a C value of zero. So there is no phase shift happening. Therefore, one period of either one of these functions will begin right at zero, just like the period that's graphed here. So the question is, is this period of f the cosine function or a sine function? One period of the parent function sine theta looks like this, while one period of the parent function cosine theta looks like this we are clearly looking at one period of a cosine function. So the answer is A. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.